Hello everybody, this is Mike at Clock Family Adventures. Today's video is a trip down Fremont Street in Las Vegas. This is the old part of uh, Las Vegas. As you can see, the buildings are pretty dated. But uh, we'll take a trip down, I'll show you some stuff. And uh, hope you like the video. So that was the plaza. I'll have a couple uh, cool facts at the end of the video for you about the plaza. Here's Golden Gate another old one and right outside Golden Gate they have these big bars here's straight across this is the new Circa ho uh, Hotel and Casino uh, it's the newest one down here it's only a couple years old um, that's the only one only new one that's been built on Fremont Street but as you can go through um, there is a lot of panhandlers through this area um, at night there are normally uh, street performers in these circles here as you can see over the top of our head it's a big screen and as I go through you'll see uh, different images and all portrayed on that at night it dances with the music but it's pretty cool uh, directly behind me is a stage where they have DJs and they have bands and all uh, also right here on the left hand side you'll see another stage Coming up on the Golden Nugget on the right hand side and Binion's on the left. If you're a poker player like I am, Golden Nugget is your only uh, casino for poker down here in the uh, Fremont Street area. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing. Best of all, it's free. I put out content pretty regularly. I also do cruise content. I'm getting ready to leave on a Royal Caribbean cruise next week. If you're a big coffee drinker or you like Starbucks, there's one right there in the Golden Nugget. If you're a Dunkin' fan, there's one in Fremont. So you can stay up all night and watch all the different performances. Uh, certain days of the week they have uh, different bands performing for free. I think like every Saturday night there's a, a free band. Um, as you see, there's a bunch of kiosks where people sell stuff throughout the night. But this is early in the morning. I just did it because it's... Uh, easy to get through um, at night this is usually packed I do have a few short videos at the end of this one that'll show uh, some of the street performers and stuff at night and give you a little idea of what it looks like yourself a little bit going through these intersections every once in a while people will fly through here there's several exotic car rental places in Vegas and uh, they'll rent Lamborghinis all kinds of different things uh, slingshots everything and uh, people try to act cool in them so they'll speed up and down the strip so you gotta watch yourself On the right hand side you got the Four Queens, on the left hand side you got Fremont, that's where I said the uh, Dunkin Donuts is. Not sure if you know it or not, but uh, as you see on the right hand side this set of stairs here take you up to where the short zip line ends. There's a zip line that runs all the way down to the end, and then there's one which is uh, five blocks, and then there's one that runs two blocks from the end down there. I'm not sure if you can see it. It says Slotzilla. Uh, one's seven stories up and goes two blocks. The other one's 11 stories up and goes five blocks. And uh, the, the two blocks one's $47.95, and the uh, five block one is $67.95. You can also do an add-on where you can take your GoPro with you for $25. The packages come with some digital photos. Uh, you get like four or five or something like that. And uh, But it may be only online, so you may want to check that out before you go. You may have to purchase your tickets online first. There's another stage right there to the right. If you were to make a left here and walk down about two blocks, there's Downtown Grand, which has Dollar Blackjack. And also, if you go past that, It'll take you to the Mob Museum. We went. It was very cool. 
On the right hand side here is the D. They have a great steakhouse called Andiamo Steakhouse. Uh, we went there a couple of years ago. Got a big old tomahawk steak. And uh, we got some meatballs for an appetizer. It's like an Italian restaurant, but it does steak as well. Um, it's very, very good. The meatballs are like the size of a softball. So it's like big enough for four people to share on. If you're looking for some cheap alternatives, there's a McDonald's in the D. See they have a Coney Island hot dog right there on the right hand side in the D as well. Left hand side is just nothing but some uh, little vendors, shops. There's a Harley Davidson outlet right there on the left, as well as a White Castle. Now I just stopped here right at the end um, of the canopy. Down there past, you see there's a Denny's. There's also a Heart Attack Grill, which has, uh, if you're 350 pounds or more, you eat for free. Also, the waitresses are dressed like nurses in little skirts, and if you don't eat all your food, they will spank you. Past that, you got El Cortez Casino, a couple other old casinos down there, but nothing uh, like real close to each other. You gotta walk a little bit. So, here's my video on the uh, zip lines. This is your sit down one, it's two blocks long. the lay down one. Everyone that I've talked to has done it. So it's a very cool experience to have and uh, especially at night when everything's lit up going down the strip all the people are partying. This is a couple small videos of the street performers I did. This guy here is a contortionist. Um, he can stick his body through tennis brackets and all kinds of stuff. I've seen him uh, a couple times now, a couple different years. So he's been down, performing down there for a while. A couple other things to do down here is uh, a couple blocks away is the Neon Graveyard. I have a video of that, of uh, some pictures from that I took. They won't let you record there, but uh, it's very a uh, neat place where all the neon signs from the old casinos go and uh, there's a sea container park that has some stores and restaurants in it it's a couple blocks away from here the neon graveyard you may want to uh, get a cab because that one's a uh, kind of a rough area this next guy here is able to balance his whole body on top of a bottle on top of all those glasses I wish I would have got a longer video of it but I was in a hurry. Okay, now back to what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. The Plaza Hotel was Biff's Casino in Back to the Future 2, and that Oscars right there was filmed in Casino with Robert De Niro uh, eating dinner there one time. So, two different video, two different movies were filmed in that uh, hotel right there. Hope you liked the video. Thanks.